Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is I at Real Monty Allen, and I am your crypto nerd. Today, I'm going to show you how to do governance with my Algo wallet. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to gov.myalgo.com. That's gov. G-O-V dot Myalgo, M-Y-A-L-G-O dot com. And you want to do this because you want to pull off your algo from the exchange. So recently we saw Binance had some issues locking up your algos. It's always a good idea to pull your Algorand off of the exchange and you should have your own personal Algorand wallet. Whether or not you use uh, Myalgo wallet or the official Algorand wallet. Um, I actually have used both. I like my algo. The interface is nice. It's powered by Rand Labs. And um, check it out. So anyway, gov.myalgo.com. You're going to go ahead and place that in your browser. And then it's going to say, to use governance, you have to create a MyAlgo wallet. So here's what you're going to do. You're just going to click the button that says create wallet. Super easy to do. My Algorand wallet. So let's go ahead and access it now. Do we accept the terms? Yeah, you bet we do. But we need to make sure we always back up our mnemonic phrase and private keys. So, you know you've heard in the crypto verse, if you haven't yet, you will soon. Not your keys, not your wallet. So this is what they're talking about. You're going to want to maintain the keys to your wallet. Make sure you read this stuff. You can't use this in incognito mode. You got you got you got to do a few things here. So, all right. You've got to create a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a password that is unique to me, and uh, let's just say. All right, passwords are in. I'm not gonna save this one in here. All right, now we're in my Algorand wallet. We're gonna hit new wallet over here because we haven't created one yet. We don't have a Ledger Nano. We're not gonna import anything else. We're gonna create a new wallet. So never share your private keys like I'm doing here, right? This is, again, this is a wallet that I'm never, ever going to use again. So literally, I'm just going to hit show all. But in, in reality, you, you might only want to show like one at a time. And you're going to want to write these down. I wouldn't take a picture and put it in your Gmail. Uh, I, I, would, I would legitimately write these down and put them somewhere safe like a safe. Okay, so I don't don't share these words with anyone because these funds or these words can be used to steal all of your funds. So don't do it. So you're going to want to write these down. I'm going to go ahead and jot these down. It's going to take a minute. And so now we've got them written down. I have written down and backed up my 25 word mnemonic phrase in the correct order. Have I done that? Yes, I have. All right, I'm going to hit continue. All right. Now I need to plug in the additional words to activate my account. So click the word that belongs to the number in the correct order. So I'm doing that here. Uh, I'm doing that here. Uh, I'm doing that uh, here. And I'm doing that here. All right. I'm going to name this name. This is just going to be crypto test. Okay. All right, so here we are. We have created our crypto test wallet. It's got a little less than three algos in there, right? Because it takes 0 .001 to uh, add a wallet there. I've actually done a few, few transactions here. Okay, so here we are. We have created our crypto test wallet. We're inside of our wallet, my algo. It's got a little less than three algos in there. All we have to do is go over here to the top left where it says wallet. We're gonna drop down to where it says governance. Boom, we're gonna click the governance button. We'll plug in our password again. And we haven't yet subscribed yet. So we are ineligible up here. We're just gonna hit this button. It's got, you know, these little, little you know, walkthroughs over here. We're gonna hit the button. We're going to subscribe with, uh, what's the max? We're gonna do one, we're gonna do one and a half. Let's just do one. We'll do one, one here. And we're gonna go ahead and sign in again. We're going to wait just 30 seconds, maybe, in order to get that done. 
So then what we see is in the top right, it changes from red to green, and we are now suddenly eligible. And that's it for now. Now, we will do another series to show you what happens when it's time to vote. There's a lot of controversy about option A, option B. But for right now, I just want you to get your, your algos off of the exchange, put it into a wallet that is yours, get registered, just become eligible for governance, and then we'll take it from there. All right, so this will be part of a series. And let's just all grow and get better at this and be involved together. That's all I've got. I am, of course, your crypto nerd. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.